it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Welcome to day six of the 12 days of Christmas. And I'm going to be using, I'm going to do a little craft today. Um, I'm going to do a ornament and I'm going to be using these rub-ons from the 49er Market um, Vintage Artistry Noel Collection. And there's this really um, vintage-y looking Santa and I have these little round ornaments um, that I bought at Hobby Lobby and I decided to take one of the scrap papers in that collection and I die cutted it out with my circle die cut which fits in that perfectly and now I'm going to take the rub on and I'm going to rub it on with my little stick that it comes with my little popsicle stick to make sure that I can rub it on the paper and this turns out so nice I'm not usually a fan of rub-ons, but these rub-ons are very high quality in this collection, and it's it's Primo, so let's face it, it's, I'm not Primo, 49er Market, so it's a very good quality. So what I did is I was very careful to make sure that it was on there good, and I just rubbed it on, and now I'm going to peel it all off, and there you go. And now these little ornaments... Um, come with an opening in the back like a picture frame almost and then you just kind of put it on there and you put the plastic over the top and then you put it back in and then you can do whatever you want to the outside of it and make it look super fancy and pretty for your Christmas tree so I put the Santa in there and I put it all on got it centered to where I needed it to be and this package, I got a whole package for regular price was $5.99, but you get 50% off. And I believe I got five of them in a pack. So it was very cheap. Um, so it was basically $3. So now I'm taking my, um, these is Tattered Angels. I've had these for a long time. I bought them at Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, Tuesday morning a while back when they had these quite a bit. And it's just a spray and it leaves a little shimmer and it's kind of like a stain color. So like a wood stain. So what I did is I painted the outside of it with this. Um, and very easy to paint it. Um, you can paint it any color you want, but I chose this color. My Christmas tree is vintage Christmas um, colors. So I decided to use this color because it was going to go perfect with my tree and then I did the sides as well and you can see I have my little dryer my little heat dry gun that I have and I dried it quickly with that so I didn't have to wait for it to dry and I just finished the edges off like that and let it dry and then I went in with a second coat um, you may not need to do a second coat but this um, was very thin liquidy spray so I went in with the second coat just to make it a little bit darker and it turned out super pretty you can't tell on camera but it does have a little sheen to it a little shine um, a little bit of gold sparkle in it which is super pretty so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this twine that I bought in the Christmas section um, in Hobby Lobby as well and I'm going to hot glue it all along the edge of the ornament so I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue and then I'm gonna hold it down for a little bit and I'm using my little finger protectors because I've been burning my fingers and there it is so now what I'm gonna do is I die cut some of I use my Tim Holtz die cut and this is just a leaf die cut that I have and it just prints out, it just tie cuts these little leaves. And um, I kind of clustered a couple of them together just to make a few sprigs. And I used some of the die cuts that I had in the Vintage Artistry Collection as well by Prima. Prima, I keep saying Prima. 49 in market, sorry guys. And I glued those on as well. They're just like little berries. And then I just made my little cluster and then I have this really cute stocking that I glued them all to the back of. 
And I also used some berries that I had in that little cluster you see there that I got from the Dollar Tree. I also had that little, um, what do you call that? Um, I can't talk today. Chipboard piece, sorry, with a pine cone on it that I decided to use as well. And I'm just making my little cluster on the side of my ornament. So I'm just kind of like dressing it up. And then I got these little stockings sticker they're like vellum not vellum acetate pieces sorry and I got these at also at Hobby Lobby and I think they were like a dollar fifty you got a whole package and then I decided to stick a couple more acetate pieces that I got in my hip kit collection of leaves so I decided to stick those on there and now I'm gonna stick this big piece that I cut off of that branch there that I also got at the Dollar Tree and what I did is I cut some of those sprigs off so it would lay flat and now I'm just gonna kind of stick it in there but I'm gonna hot glue it first and then stick it in like that so that it'll stay and see how pretty I'm just making it come up the sides like that and I'm just kind of making my own little cluster with stuff that I had um, you know in my stash and things that I've been buying here and there and now I'm going to take one of those little frosted berries they look like they got ice on them and I'm going to glue that down on top of that and there is my ornament super pretty and then I decided to use this little bow and I bought this ribbon um, also I believe at the Dollar Tree I might I might have bought it at another store craft store but it was only a dollar dollar fifty I believe and super pretty I made a little bow I put that at the top and then I'm also going to put on the bottom this little um, piece that I have that says warm wishes and it's super pretty and I just stuck that on the bottom as well and that's it but before I forget I want to remind you all not to forget to check out the other ladies who are also in the 12 days of Christmas. I will have all their links down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Just hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. So there you go, guys. There's your close up, super easy, quick DIY ornament. And it came out super pretty. Look at that. All done. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.